Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is my next entry into my knife journal. Um, I am in front of the camera today. Uh, uh, it's funny because I'm usually behind the camera, I, not only because I like to be able to look in the, the viewfinder on the back and be able to see what I'm filming, filming to make sure that it's uh, you know, in frame and everything and you are seeing what I'm talking about, um, but I'm a little little camera shy. I don't really like uh, like to be in front of the camera like this, but you know what the heck? Why not? Uh, it's easier in this case for me to show you this like this, and I wanna I want you to see my face because I want to also say something a little later, which is very important to me. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the knife, the next stage. Uh, today I wanted to get a heat treat done and then um, uh, temper the blade, you know, finish it up and put a, a nice finish on it. But unfortunately, it was wet, rainy, cold all day. So I wasn't able to get outside and do it, get a fire going. But I did uh, get three things done um, with this. The first thing I got done was I put a nice finish on it. And the first thing you're noticing is, oh my god, what is all this? Well, that's the second thing I did. Uh, let me see if I can. Actually, I'm going to get behind the camera just for a second. Make sure this knife is in frame. I put, uh, I put all these, this, uh, these little holes. I mean, they're not holes. They're not all the way through. But I used a, a drill bit to uh, get this kind of um, different design on there. Like you see I did on both sides. Something kind of crazy I did last second. I don't really know if I like it as much as just ha keeping it plain, but it certainly just, uh, you know, it gives it a little something, jazz it up just a little bit. I also put ridges on the back here. You can see that. You barely make it out, but in the reflection you can see there's <laughs> there's something there. But um, good, good um, ridges for your thumb there, for like a thumb rest. Uh, very grippy, but uh, not sharp at all. I did uh, sand them down. And the last thing I did, actually, there's two more things I did. I widened the choil on both sides so that a uh, nice clean look. That also shortened the uh, the sharpened edge a little bit. Um, actually, let me get, let me use my uh, jacket here as a kind of a background. Hopefully, this is in frame. This way, you can see the, the choil. But, uh, right here both sides and then I actually put a uh, a finish on the blade the whole knife itself um, not really polished or anything but I used 80 grit uh, an 80 grit um, sanding belt on the belt sander and uh, just to get a nice finish there I like it I think it came out good this is like what I think I want the finished product to look like um, and again you can see I put another wrap on there just to just to get an idea of what it's going to feel like. So basically, this is what the knife is going to pretty much look like when it's all done. I mean, like I said, all I have to do now is heat treat it and then go back and then just make sure I get that finish on there again. But that's basically it. I think it came out nice. I like it a lot. Um, it's comfortable, especially now with that. I'm really glad I put on those, uh, those ridges on the back there. Um, very functional. Uh, and actually, because I put the, this kind of hole pattern here, when I pinch it between my fingers like this, it's very, very comfortable, very grippy. Um, you know, if I were to do a cutting fashion like this, here's a top view. But um, really nice. I like it. Anyway, uh, I do want to add one thing. I do want to say uh, thank you very much for uh, all my uh, subscribers and all, my, uh, all the people that support me, uh, my, some of my online friends. I really, really appreciate the... Uh, all the nice comments you guys have. Um, you know, I don't mind helping you with any kind of questions you have, anything knife related um, or anything related to anything that I do in my videos. Like I said, I do have a Zippo collection and flashlights and stuff like that. But I really, really uh, appreciate all the support, all the really nice comments. Um, it makes me want to make more videos, you know? So, and I have to, I have to say, I'm kind of surprised because there's so many people on YouTube who, uh, who put these negative comments that totally meaningless, but uh, I, since I've been, I have my own account on YouTube, I've only had, I think, two comments. Two, like, ridiculous comments that had nothing to do with anything, just someone being negative. Uh, but, you know, you have to expect that. But I'm surprised that those numbers aren't a lot higher. But anyway, thanks again, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, as far as video requests, I get a lot of requests all the time. And actually, <laughs> I'd say probably the last... God, uh, at least the last 10 or 15 videos I've done were all video requests. People had asked me, hey, can you show me this or can you show me that? And I have no problem doing that at all. You know, just send me a, a message. 
you know, or an email. My email is colorwelover at uh, hotmail.com. Um, I don't mind doing them. All you have to do is just be a little patient because I have that list and I try to get the videos out and I constantly have a battery problem because I'm going through batteries like crazy with my camera. Um, but I will do video requests, you know, as long as I'm able to show what you want to see. Uh, but you just got to be a little patient, that's all. But uh, once again, here's the knife. Uh, still got to heat treat it, Fini you know, put the final finish on it and sharpen this bad boy up and I'm ready to go. That'll be my first knife. I'm really excited about it. Um, so that's all. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.